Yo, what is going on guys? Sirius here. In today's video, I'm going to be releasing my Black Ops 3 compiler for GSC. Um, this is the same one that I've been using in my YouTube videos for, you know, ever. Um, since all the way back in like April last year. Um, this is also the same compiler that is an Infinity Loader. Um, and I'm releasing my Visual Studio Code setup and showing you how to set it up so that you can be able to use it. Um, the reason I'm releasing it is because somebody else released their own compiler. Um, and I always promised you guys I would release mine open source whenever somebody else did. So um, I'm keeping good on that promise. And also, I want you guys to be able to use my tool set um, because I make everything to my standards to be able to do the things that I want them to do. So I want you guys to be able to use um, the quality that I like to use myself. Um, and not to say that the other compiler is, you know, bad quality, but... Um, it is a fork of the Black Ops 2 compiler, so it inherits all of the issues from Black Ops 2. And while the developer said that he did work on some of it, um, I'm not sure how much he, he did. So um, I, I don't want to recommend something that, you know, I'm not completely comfortable with. So I'm just going to go ahead and release mine for you. But what you're going to want to go ahead and do to install this is go to the GitHub link in the description below. Um, it will bring you to this T7 compiler uh github and you also want to go ahead and open up this visual studio code um I, i'll link that in the description go ahead and download it for windows and install it you need visual studio code um to be able to edit your gsc files um so you'll go to your github uh, page here and click on initial release and then you go to the source code and download this zip file um, make somewhere to extract it to. It doesn't matter. I'm just putting it on my desktop in a folder. Um, and go ahead and just... One second. Go ahead and uh, open up this folder and drag the .vsix file here. This is VS Code TXGSC. Um, and drag your default project in as well. Uh, then really quickly open up this zip file and drag this T7 compiler folder into your C drive. Uh, you have to put it in your C drive so that the test task I configured works. Um, then you can go ahead and close these and uh, go into your default project folder and right click and open with code. If you don't have that open with code, restart your computer. So once you have this open, go into your extensions here and click this little thing up at the top and install from VSIX. And then go ahead and navigate to the folder where we put the VSIX file and just open that. You'll see completed installing Treyarch DSC extension and just reload. Once you've get, got that loaded, you're going to see that your GSC files are colored. Um, this is, again, the same extension I use for my stuff. Um, now we're going to go ahead and try to test this, but first we need a keyboard extension. I mean, I'm sorry, a keyboard binding. So we're going to go to File, Preferences, go to Keyboard Shortcuts, search for Test Task here. You'll see Run Test Task. And you want to put a key binding. I put mine to Control Shift I. You can put it to whatever you want. Um, note that if there is an existing key bind for whatever you choose, you're going to have to clear it. So you probably want to pick one that does not have an existing key bind. Once you've got that bound, you go back into here. Go ahead and open up your Black Ops 3 and go to the pre-game lobby. I'm doing it in Zombies. You can do it in whatever you want. This works exactly like Infinity Loader. Go ahead and press your key binding in Visual Studio Code whenever you're ready. And you'll see this. You'll see uh, red script parse tree, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. Um, once you see that, you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and start the game just to see that it's working. Um, you can use pretty much anything from Infinity Loader right out of the box. You don't have to do any porting. You don't have to do any, like, weird stuff. I know this other compiler, apparently you have to, you know, do a bunch of stuff to get it working. Um, anything from Infinity Loader is going to work. Let me really quickly get that. Probably should have tested on multiplayer because there's no uh, loading cut screen. All right. Uh, once you load, you're going to see that, yep, everything's working good. Um, you can use my default menu release just like this because I actually coded it um, in Visual Studio Code. Um, you can use, or actually, no, I'm sorry, you can't. You can't use default because it's missing a certain thing. Um, but you can use um, basically anything without the um conditional compiler uh settings so uh, anyway guys that's pretty much it for the video um just like i said um this is just my release for this um a lot of stuff was actually purged uh from this i had to remove my uh, black ops 4 cold war etc all that stuff from here 
So there's a lot of artifacts in there, um, and the code isn't too clean, but um, this should give you guys kind of an idea on, you know, how you can make your own compiler if you wanted to. So um, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did leave a like, make sure to tell your friends that the Infinity Loader compiler is finally free. Um, I know Infinity Loader is going to be getting an update soon, um, including the store. So make sure to check that out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.